Welcome to the Survey on Recognizing Textual Entailment as an NLP Evaluation. As NLP technologies are more widely adopted, how to evaluate NLP systems is an increasingly important question. Recognizing textual entailment, the task of determining whether the meaning of one sentence can likely be inferred from another, was introduced to answer this question. The question of how to best to evaluate NLP systems is an open problem that's intrigued the community for decades. A 1988 workshop on the evaluation of NLP systems explored key questions for evaluation. The large number of ACL workshops since then that have been focused on evaluations in NLP demonstrates the lack of consensus in the community on how to properly evaluate NLP systems. Some workshops focused on evaluations in general. Other folk, others' workshops focus on different NLP tasks, like machine translation and summarization. And recently, some workshops focused on evaluations have, have specialized on contemporary, how to evaluate contemporary NLP approaches that rely on vector space representations. We include a list of all of these workshops, or a sample of these workshops, in the paper. We're going to briefly talk about different types of NLP evaluations. The first distinction that we're going to consider are intrinsic versus extrinsic evaluations. As noted by Resnick et al., intrinsic evaluations measure the performance of an NLP component on its defined subtask. Extrinsic evaluations focus on the component's contribution to the performance of a complete application. Another distinction are general purpose versus task specific evaluations. General purpose evaluations determine how well NLP systems capture different linguistic phenomena, while task specific evaluations determine how well a model performs on a held out test corpus. In metrics in task specific evaluations for classification problems often use metrics like accuracy, precision, and recall. And to evaluate task-specific generation models, metrics like blue and rouge are often used. The distinction between general purpose and task-specific evaluations is sometimes blurred. In the era of deep learning, researchers also use probes to determine how well deep learning models capture linguistic phenomena. Auxiliary diagnostic classifiers are a general purpose methodology of exploring how well different pre-trained sentence representation methods perform on a broad range of NLP tasks. This brings us now to recognizing textual entailment, and specifically on recognizing textual entailment as an evalue NLP evaluation. Recognizing and coping with inferences is key to understanding human languages. And no NLP system can claim to understand language if it can't cope with textual inferences. Well, NLP systems might be trained to perform different tasks, such as translating, answering questions, or extracting information from text. Almost all NLP systems require understanding and making inferences from text. Therefore, RTE was introduced as a framework to evaluate NLP systems. We're going to now talk about some prior and foundational RTE data sets. The first that we are going to look at is FRACAS. FRACAS is an inference test suite for evaluating the inferential competence of different NLP systems and semantic theories. Cooper et al. in the mid-90s, over multiple years, developed FRACAS as this inference test suite. It's a semantic test suite that covers a range of semantic phenomena categorized into nine classes. These include generalized quantifiers, plurals, anaphora, and others. Based on the descriptions of different evaluation methods, we would probably classify FRACAS as an intrinsic evaluation. And here we include some example, an example from, Flock, from Fracas that focuses on plurals. With a similar broad goal as Fracas, 
The PASCA recognizing textual entailment challenges began as a generic evaluation framework to compare the inference capabilities of models designed to perform different tasks based on the intuition that major inferences as needed by multiple applications can indeed be cast in terms of textual entailment. The Pascal RTE challenges primarily focused on using this framework of RTE to evaluate models for distinct real-world downstream tasks. Therefore, the examples in the Pascal RTE datasets were extracted from downstream tasks. This process was referred to as recasting in the thesis by Glickman. And here we've provided some examples from different Pascal RTE challenges. More recent data sets of the Stanford Natural Language Inference, SNLI, and its successor, Multi-NLI, each contain over half a million examples and have enabled researchers to apply data-hungry deep learning methods to RTE. Unlike the RTE data sets from before, these two data sets were created by eliciting hypotheses from humans. Crowdsource workers were tasked with writing one sentence, each that is entailed, neutral, or contradicted by a text. In SNLI, the texts were captions sampled from the Flickr 30,000 corpus. A high accuracy on these data sets does not indicate which type of reasoning RTE models perform. This metric, these accuracies, just tell us how well one a system understands whether one sentence likely follows from another, but it doesn't illuminate how well NLP models capture different semantic phenomena that are important for general natural language understanding. The past few years have seen an explosion in RTE datasets that focus on specific linguistic phenomena. These datasets have been created through different types of methods. Some involve automatically converting annotations for different phenomena into the RTE format, while others use heuristics to create RTE pairs based on specific phenomena and then rely on annotators to label the pairs of examples under the RTE framework. These efforts have resulted in a consistent format and framework for testing how well contemporary deep learning NLP systems capture a wide range of linguistic phenomena. However, so far, most of these data sets that target specific linguistic phenomena, these data sets that we see here, have been used to solely evaluate how well RTE models capture a wide range of phenomena, as opposed to evaluating how well systems trained for more applied NLP tasks capture these phenomena. Since RTE was introduced as a framework to evaluate how well NLP models cope with inferences, these newly created datasets have not been used to their full potential. In the paper, we advocate and discuss different ways that these datasets have been and can be and should be used to evaluate models trained for other downstream applied NLP tasks. To conclude, with the current zeitgeist of NLP research, where researchers are interested in analyzing state-of-the-art deep learning models, now is a prime time to revisit recognizing textual entailment as a method to evaluate the inference capabilities of NLP models. By using these data sets to evaluate sentence representations from neural models or rank generated text from NLP systems, researchers can help fulfill the promise of RTE as a unified evaluation framework. Ultimately, this will help us determine how well models understand language on a fine-grained level.